water use because it sounds like a lot of water. Uh, yes, I'm a fisherman too, so I'm concerned about uh, fishing water myself. But uh, the shallow uh, antrum wells that were fractured have been fractured for the last 40 years or so since the uh, uh, late 60s. Used about 50,000 gallons of water for a fracture. And those are all located in the northeastern part of the state. They're an unconventional type shale reservoir. And uh, there's about 12,000 of those wells that are producing gas right now. The new horizontal wells that we're looking at uh, might take anywhere from 5 million gallons to 20 million gallons for a frack job. As uh, Brian mentioned, uh, uh, this is done in stages, and it is a one-time use. So when, when a well is fractured it's, uh, uh, and the fracking is done, then there's no more water used for that processing. So how does that compare when you're talking about the amount of gas you get for the uh, compared to the water you use to get that gas? Uh, one of the new horizontal wells could make anywhere from 5 to 10 uh, b billion cubic feet of gas. So there's a there's actually a very, uh, they're very prolific wells compared to the shallow rantrum wells or other wells. So uh, if you were to use 20 uh, million gallons of water for a frack job, you might get 10 VCF of gas in, in return over a period of years. And how's that compared to the vertical ones that we've been seeing? Those are those are much lower. Those might be uh, half a half. A, I guess what I'm getting half a, I guess what I'm getting down to is: Are we going to use less water to produce more gas, or are we using more water to produce an equal amount of gas? We're definitely using much less water to produce much more gas. You want to hand the mic down to? Or actually, you have a mic there, Hugh. Would you grab it? 